Hello everyone and welcome to our chapter 7 study guide which is all about polygons. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure that you know is these um, polygon angle sum formulas. So we have our interior angle sum is n minus 2 times 180. Our exterior angle sum is 360 and that is for all polygons whether they're regular or irregular. If they're regular then we have these two formulas where you can find the measure of each one. So one interior angle and then one exterior angle if it's regular. So the first set of directions says this, solve for each of the following for the regular polygons below. So they tell me from the beginning that these are going to be regular polygons. So you can see that we're finding all four things for all four of these shapes. Some of these are pictures, some of these are number gons, and then some of these are the actual words where you have to know how many sides are in it. So this first one, we're going to just count it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So this is a hexagon. Um, it could say the word hexagon. It could have the picture. So just make sure you know that. And so in a hexagon, the sum of the interior angles is going to be six minus two. Of course, that gives me the number of triangles in the shape. If I were to draw it in, if you didn't remember the formula, you could always draw it in. That's going to be four triangles inside of this hexagon. So four times 180 gives me an interior angle sum of 720 degrees. What is the sum of the exterior angles? Meaning, like if I were to put all of these, if all the, what would all these yellow ones add up to? All of these yellow ones, and no matter how many sides it has, would always, always, always have a sum of 360 degrees. So since it's regular, what can I do about finding the measure of each, or the measure of one, is I can take 720, and I can say that interior angle sum is gonna be divided by six. What is 720 divided by six? That's going to give me 120 degrees since it's regular. Since it's regular, I can also find the measure of each exterior. Or the measure of one is another way to say that. And so we're going to take 360 and we're going to divide that by six. And when you do that, you're going to get 60 degrees. And you're going to notice every time that the interior and the um, exterior angle, the measure of one, should always be supplementary, meaning that if this was... 120 on the inside, it makes sense that this is 60 on the outside because that forms a linear pair. That's always going to form a linear pair. So that's just a really good way to check yourself. All right, what about a heptagon? Well, we know that in a heptagon, that has seven sides. So that's going to be 7 minus 2 times 180, which means that there are five triangles that live in there. 5 times 180 gives me 900 degrees for the sum of the interior angles. What is the sum of the exterior angles? Again, it's always 360 degrees. So the measure of one interior, since it's regular, it's going to be 900 divided by 7. 900 divided by 7, I believe, is going to give me a decimal. We're going to round that to 128.6 degrees. And so how do I find the um, exterior? We're going to do 360 divided by 6, or not divided by 6, I'm sorry, divided by 7. That should give me a decimal as well, 360 divided by 7. We're going to round that to about 51.4 degrees. And so again, these should be supplementary, and they are. 128.6 plus 51.4 would make a linear pair. All right, so let's go to the next one. Let me make sure I'm color coding this the same. So on this one, 128.6, just that I'm consistent. So the two, oh, 128.6, so the two green ones. That I'm writing in green should always be supplementary. The one interior and one exterior should make a linear pair. All right, decagon. A decagon has 10 sides. Think decade. Decade has 10 years. A decagon has 10 sides. So to figure out the number of triangles, you're going to do 10 minus 2, and then that's times 180. So it's going to be 8 triangles times 180 gives me 1440. 1440 degrees would be my sum of the interior. My sum of the exterior is 360 all the time, no matter how many sides it has. If we want to find one interior angle, since it's regular, I'm going to take 1440 and I'm going to divide that by 10. We don't even have to type that one in. We know that that's 144 degrees. So one exterior is going to be, uh, let's see, 144. One exterior is going to be 360 divided by 10, and that is going to give me 36 degrees. So 144 and 36 are supplementary. All right, what about a 30 gone? Well, we know in a 30 gone, the number of triangles is 30. So to figure out the number of triangles, that's going to be 30 minus 2 times 180 for my interior angle sum. 28 times 180 is going to give me 5,040. It's a big number for the interior angle sum. Sum of my exterior remains the same, 360. 
right? So how do I find my sum of, or the one interior angle? I take my sum, which was 50, 40, and I divide that by the number of sides, which is 30. So 5,040 divided by 30 interior angles each would give me a, um, one interior angle of 168 degrees. To find the exterior, the measure of one exterior, 360 divided by 30. 360 divided by 30 is, in fact, going to give me 12 degrees. So again, these are supplementary like I expected them to be. So make sure you know those formulas for that top section.